The Nasdaq notched its third day of record gains, first time in 15 years. My name's Des here at Grok Trade, kicking off a new week here. It's Monday, July 20th, 2015. S&P slightly in bullish territory. The Dow, same. NASDAQ up 0.35%. Small caps down 0.5%. Banks up 0.45%. Silver uh, down 1.26%. And gold down 2.72%. US dollar break even. Fear down slightly. Here we are looking at the S&P 500 ETF called the Spider SPY. Had this falling wedge. Falling wedge did break out. And if I click on the little light bulb here, you'll see that yours truly, Des here, called a long buy and boom, we went higher. Now, I would be today putting on a short buy here or a short sell because we rallied higher, 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 trajectory rolls over, we get a spinning top reversal pattern at a previous area of resistance. We try to break over it, we come back down, bears took control by day's end, and highly likelihood of this dropping going into the rest of the week. However, the problem is banks ended in bullish territory. Furthermore, NASDAQ's doing fairly well. Because of that, I cannot yet say, hey, let's go short. Because of that, I remain hedged in the market. And that means with all the long positions I have going right now, I put on a hedge with small caps, meaning that if the Russell's 2000 drops, my hedge, which is an inverse ETF by three times, makes me money. So because of that, you know, today we had small caps down a half a percent because we we're down a half a percent. I made money on my hedge plus the longs, especially those that were in the NASDAQ. If we go here to the NASDAQ, check this out. Boom! Up, up, and away again. We've had three record closes on the NASDAQ. And the last time that happened was 15 years ago. Very, very strong. Now, let me share something so I can say that I said it before it happened. I always look for major, major rallies right before a major crash. It's almost like the large institutions suck us all in. I've seen this happen in the last two major drops in the market that you'll get these record rallies and you'll get everybody and their brother buying, 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 and the market will be going straight up. And then all of a sudden, you'll get these 200, 300, 400, 500 point down days. I mean, you'll just get these huge down days in the markets, and then the markets will start to relax. If I go to the monthly chart, here's the monthly chart on the NASDAQ. Up, 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 and away. We are way overextended. We are due for a pullback. Normally, the markets have these ebb and flows, up and down, up and down, up and down. Here, we only have up, 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 and no down. <laughs> so when it happens, people will be uh, crying in the streets. It will be a nasty little drop when it happens. So like, if this happens to be the top, I'm not saying it is, but what you'll see is this big rally making all-time highs and then an equal candlestick red coming right back down. And then you'll see a continuation drop after that. Let's take a look here at gold. If I'm going to go to the daily chart on gold. We're looking at this downtrend, 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 and then crash. I mean, gold is in all sorts of trouble. The weekly chart here, just a crash and burn. Monthly chart, just a crash and burn. And you know, it looks like we're gonna find some support here coming in. Let's see where that's gonna show up. I'm just gonna put this right 
there. Oh, wow, we're right at that area. This goes back to 2010, this area of support. Look at this. Support right here. Actually, I want to bring it up a little bit to that area coming across. We're just slightly below it, but we're right here at it. Very, very interesting to see if we will find support at this level. Because we still have, you know, another 10 days or so in this month. So this thing has, I mean, it could rally back here. So it's something to be watching for. So, all right, I'm going to sign off here before I do. Make sure you go to Grok Trade. Once you're at Grok Trade, and once you're here, uh, this is running out. If you think you can make it to Vegas by uh, Saturday morning, by fr you know, get there sometime Friday, it can get you a discount code for a four-star hotel there in Vegas, and you can attend a mentorship with us. Click this for more information. Get a hold of Carolina. Catch you guys later.